real world data is exactly as the name suggests, collected by you know routine clinical care by whoever is happen to be in that care system and whoever has the data collected. And I think one big risk we see is that very often the data is incomplete or maybe even inaccurate uh, and needs to be curated, improved um, uh, to actually get to the relative substance and the value that we need, the quality that we need to derive R&D insights uh, uh, from it, right? Yeah, but that's, so I mean, and you're absolutely right. I mean, I think uh, there's, there's certainly challenges with, with the data that exists outside of the clinical trial setting, right? It's not controlled in the same way the clinical trials are, but to your point, it is really, uh, it has the advantage of generalizability because that's what's happening in the real world. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's a lot of work that's being done, that's been done over the last few years to change, uh, to change the quality uh, of that data, to, to find ways to ensure that it's, um, it's reflective of what's really happening, um, that it is complete. Um, and, and we see great examples with, uh, with our collaboration with Flatiron, for example, uh, and the quality of data that they've achieved um, and allowing us now to, to measure outcomes in a way that's quite analogous to what we do in clinical trials. And so I think we're approaching that day when these two kinds of data, you know, well, maybe we'll stop thinking of it as two kinds of data, clinical trial and real world data are coming together to really paint that complete picture you know, of populations. And, and of patients. course, we're already seeing that the regulatory authorities, you know, oh, yeah. especially the FDA, is starting to look at the validity of real world data right. in some of those you know, environments and some of those questions and some of those processes that they have, and they start to talk about regulatory grade data that Absolutely. they like, you know, f from companies like us to be submitted because it's going to be faster and it's going to be right. cheaper. That's right. And bringing innovations to patients sooner.